Good morning, students. I'm Arindam Bag here, Department of English, Maharaja Nandakumar Mahavidyalay. In my last class, I tried to explain the lines uh, till uh, eighteen, I guess. So today, I'm going to uh, move to the next part of this poem, Alfred Tennyson's Ulysses. But again, before I start, I would like to say few words about this presentation. This presentation is not created by me. It is created by some other people. The name of those person who actually created this presentations are given here in this screen. You can see that. So now, without wait, wasting any time, let us move to the next part of the poetry or today's lesson. But I need to tell you something. about uh, my youtube channel so let me show you what happens actually so here this is the youtube studio you can guess see here that it is actually the picture you can see over here that uh, subscribed uh, watch time for from subscribers subscribed percentage is 54.4 and not subscribed is 45.6 well uh, so those who are actually watching it uh, i'm requesting you again please subscribe my channel and help me to grow so next part let us move to our presentation today so what you got here so i am become a name so it was in the last presentation we have now we will be starting from this one lines 19 to 24 so what you got here yet all experience is an arch way through glimpses that untroubled world whose margin fades forever and forever when i move how dull it is to pause to make an end to rust unburnished not to shine in use as though to breathe were life so i'm going to give you the explanation between yet all experience till when i move now before i do that let me tell you something about this you know underline uh, red mark we have here an arc or arch actually an arch means uh, it's a metaphor like an arch life is like an arch you cannot see the entire picture of our life untroubled world again untroubled world uh, means uh, here death is like a planet or glimming world or object we have this again it is also a kind of metaphor and uh, as a reference also as a reference to death it is always looking at him through the arch of his experiences but somehow seems to recede margin fades as he keeps moving as an arch another explanation you can find here as ulysses moves his experience make an arch covering the arch of the untroubled world the more he travels the more the margin or edges of that world recede or are covered up so this is what you got here now do we need to explain anything else sure we do uh, let me uh, give you the exp explanation of this uh, of the first three line so here it is ulysses finds no meaning in leading a quiet and idle life in his hilly kingdom that is ithaca in the company of his aged wife that is penelope and administering unfair and imperfect laws to his subjects to his subjects means to his citizens the thought of staying at home for the rest of his life is unbearable for him he longs to drink the wine of life to the dregs he will leave nothing untasted in life he has enjoyed and suffered much alone and in in the company of his sailors he has seen many towns and has known their customs and their governments he has fought he has fought bravely and delightfully along with his fellow warriors on the battlefields of troy now what is what is troy so troy is basically a uh, a kingdom i told you about in my uh, previous presentation isn't it i guess i i gave you the idea of uh, the trojan war bit kind of you know and uh, apart from that 
what happened there windy uh, plains of troy troy is basically it is a city in asia minor and it is celebrated as the scene of the war which homer has described in his iliad so uh, here again his present character is indeed the product of the vast knowledge or experience he has gained so many things in his life he has visited places na he compares knowledge to an arch a man can catch sight of distant things through an arch likewise all the knowledge that a man has acquired only lets him see that there are vast and limitless fields of knowledge lying unexplored yeah we can boast that we, we have learned so many things but the fact is there are so many other things that we don't know so the more ulysses acquires knowledge and gains in experience the more he finds that there is still much experience to gain so that's why it is been compared with all experiences is an arch that's why he says he can't see the entire picture he can see a part of it but not the entire thing so this passage this particular part of part shows the concrete nature of tennyson's image experience an abstract thing has been vividly presented by the image of an arch the stanza also gives a marvelous word picture it gives us a provides us a picture now the very next part which is how dull it is to pause now he says that i have experienced experienced so many things i have learned so many things now why i should stop why i should stop myself from traveling to make an end to just retire he is not with that idea or rather he is not comfortable with this idea that some day he will retire no he don't want to uh, spend the life like that to rust unburnished not to shine in news as though to breathe well life now where this rust unburnished which actually means if we consider it if we consider human character as a, a weapon which is not used then definitely what will happen after some time we will lose our energy and after all it will be our activity will be uh, finished that uh, that's why it means rust unburnished means to become dull and lifeless through inactivity and idleness i repeat rust unburnished means to become dull and lifeless through inactivity and idleness so that's why he do not want to spend his life through idleness and that's why he compared this not to shine in use that means without if you want to shine in your life then you must remain active inactivity will cause cause rust and decay as though to breathe well life and this is this is the way we should as though to breathe well life so this is the way we are supposed to continue our life through our breath through our activity so this is line number 19 to 24 next line we have the explanation this in the next slide we have this ulysses further justifies his desire to keep traveling and living a life of adventure he compares his life or experiences to an arch i described it earlier and describes the untraveled world untraveled means those places which he was unable to reach he wants to reach that part also as a place that gleams at him through that arch all he has to do is walk through the arch The first two lines of the passage are very tricky. One way to read untroubled world is as reference to death. Yes, it can obviously refer to death because it is mentioned in the uh, slide itself also. It is always looking at him. It is always looking at him through the arch of his experiences, but somehow seems to recede in bracket margin fades as he keeps moving. You could also think of the untroubled world as an arch. As Ulysses moves his experiences make an arch. covering the arch of the untraveled world the more he travels the more the margin or edges of the world of that world recede or are covering up this happens with us also if you are moving you know over the over our world then we won't be able to see the other side 
you cannot see the inter world and uh, at a time it is impossible ulysses retaliates how boring it is just sitting around when he could be out exploring the world he don't want to spend his life by just sitting idly he likens himself to some kind of metallic instrument yes i told you about this armament or um, weapon which is made of some kind of metal and uh, that is still perfectly useful and shiny if we are careful enough and if you use it regularly then it will remain shiny for ulysses life is about more than just breathing it's about adventure for ulysses life is more than just breathing just living doesn't make any sense just breathing means i'm living but that doesn't make that that, that doesn't complete the sense of living yeah biologically we may be we, we may be we may be alive we are very much aware but living idly spending life idly sitting in a single place without the pursuit of knowledge then it is not a life we cannot call it as a life so that's all for today i'm going to continue another i am going to give you another audio visual presentation in the same platform after this because it's all already 11 minute past so watch it carefully and uh, the google doc google form will be given to you uh, from this presentation also and from the other presentation also thank you again one request one more request to you all the viewers thank you for watching my channel and please subscribe share and like my channel thank you